Boom, boom, you already know. Busy one for the move, move. Are you listening? Big up, Three Pointers TV. Three Pointers TV. Yeah, come on, man. Big things coming. Look out for them. Let me do it one more time. You know, man. Listen, big up, Three Pointers TV. Come on, you know it is. Busy one for Big up, the Three Pointers TV. Look out for them. Big things coming. You know, move, move. Yes, 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 we're back again with the Three Pointers TV. Myself, the T's representing Arsenal 2, Aston Villa 1. I've got Ivor with me. How you doing, Ivor, tonight? I'm doing good. Great energy tonight. It was a good comeback. A lot of spirit, compo a nice blend of spirit and composure. I think that's a key difference under uh, Mikel Arteta, actually. I think, and also the difference between the 2022 Arteta-inspired Arsenal and maybe the 2019 or especially 2021 20, Arsenal, I think we wouldn't have done this a year, 18 months ago. I think Aston Villa came back into the game really well, actually. I was impressed that they didn't bottle. They could have been down 3-4-0 early doors. Um, I thought, although he did almost take out Zaka's eye with a high foot, Tyro Mings was a good presence, was a dominant presence. And on another podcast, the performance podcast, he talks about him briefly being homeless and how that gave him a nice perspective. A wow. healthier perspective on football as a Premiership player. Yeah. So yeah, that's just a little side thing. Uh, but no, very happy, feeling good energy overall, and encouraged by the spirit and determination and skill on the pitch. Yeah, no, brilliant. And um, we've got a next game, man. We've got Man United. Um, how do you see us going into that game? I mean, Partey's well, currently Partey's out. There's no El Nenny, Zinchenko. How do you see us fit? You know, it's, it's, it's a big, massive task for the, for the boys. Yeah, Old Trafford's always been a difficult place for any team, but especially Arsenal. Even under Arsene Wenger, we didn't have that many wins. The few we had were very momentous, but there weren't that many wins. Momentum is a key thing in football. So Arsene Wenger used to talk about how if you won the previous game, you've got the best chance the next game. And Arteta's Arsenal have got you know, four very good, feel-good momentum wins on the bounce. Arsenal ought to win. They actually ought to win. I know Manchester United had that great result against Liverpool the other week and a good performance against Southampton. I don't know what happened tonight or last night. What was their most recent... You had to enlighten me. What, what was their most recent score, Man United? Oh, Man United. Yeah. Gosh, what was their most recent score? Because <laughs> my mind's gone blank now. Don't worry, don't worry. I'm going to edit this. City banged six tonight. Yeah, City have banged six tonight. Yep. Yeah. Um, I think Man United, they won... They won one nil. Um, they won one nil against. Oh uh, gosh, <laughs> who was the team? No, no, is it Southampton? They were pressing here, but I don't know who it was yeah. tonight or last night. I, oh yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't think. Yeah. yeah. Not BT Sports. <laughs> Live games, I'm all over it, but the um, we'll have to quote Mark Goldbridge. Where's Mark Goldbridge when you need him? We need the United Stand to help us out. That's a good question. <laughs> no, I'm glad you put me on the spot. That's this is right, it's all right. But, um, I was gonna ask yeah. you, um, so obviously, um, Tottenham, the Spuds, they've been held tonight, uh, you know, 1 1, sure. they've dropped two points, you know, Arsenal fans must be buzzing right now, right? Yeah, but we shouldn't revel. We shouldn't get. We, it's very like Spurs to revel in Arsenal dropping points. I look. I chuckle if, if Tottenham lose or draw, but I'm not one of these fans who like is all Tottenham obsessed. I really. I think stand up. You hate Tottenham. I've never liked that. To be honest, it's much more important what Arsenal are doing. And uh, it's Spurs no relevance really. We'll have a passionate day against them in the North London derby, but I don't. I don't sort of gauge my football experience in relation to what Tottenham are doing or not doing. Um, it's the truth of it. So yeah, that's how I feel about it. <laughs> All right, my man. Um, and where do you see Arsenal finishing this season? Um, last question. Where do you see Arsenal finishing this season? Um, I think we'll be a genuine title contender going into the last weeks of the season. You see it there, peeps? They're, they're doing it now. Exactly what I predicted <laughs> earlier. Five, oh, out five. five out of five. Five out of five. They're going to be talking. They're going to be talking. Trying to put the pressure on the Arsenal now. It's not pressure. It's, motiv it's, in it's inspiration. All of these players I like that. want to play for Arsenal. Mikel Arteta is a very ambitious guy. You can sense that in all his interviews he's done. His first press conference when he came in in 2019, he was all about lifting the energy, lifting the tempo, lifting the prestige of Arsenal, restoring the prestige. If Arsenal are not challenging for a title, then there's something wrong. I'm not saying we'll win it, but I think Arsenal will challenge for it. 
and I think that's um, that's definitely healthy progress. Well, I think you've heard it first from Jason. Ivor, sorry, Ivor, sorry, Ivor. Don't worry, I edit that, that bit. Out. <laughs> no, that's yeah. Fine. Go for it. All right, yeah. All right. That's it. That's it. Well, big up to Ivan, man. You heard it first from my man. He actually thinks that Arsenal are going to be in contention. <laughs> in contention. So, listen, man. Big up, Ivan. Thank you very much. Listen, man. Do you want to big up the three pointers TV? Three pointers very apt tonight. We've got a great three points. Uh, let's hope that that message and that energy keeps going the rest of the season. Loving the style and energy of the production tonight. Very easy going, very enjoyable, enjoyable to be on it. I get the words out. And I think there's a lot of progression on and off the pitch for this for the season and beyond. So good luck, guys. It's a pleasure to meet you. Thank you. Nice one, Ava. Three pointers. Peace. Come on, peeps. What are you waiting for? Like, share, subscribe to the three pointers.